Hi, this is Andre again. Uh, we continue talking about some Eurorack modules that I recently released. And this time we're going to talk about power. So Eurorack power is really important. Uh, and uh, in many ways, the power is quite a big investment to have a stable power rails in your system. Typically, it comes to some linear power solution using toroid transformers and so on. But what if you are on the go or you have some limited space and capacity uh, that you have to have some small Eurorack system? So for this purpose, I designed this module that I haven't seen any, well, similar versions in the market that is capable to provide the power to the small Eurorack system. So let's say then you have three, four modules in a small box. So that would be your solution that you can use on a go. The advantage of this model is that it's a fully flexible in a way how you can select the DC-DC uh, converters and in a way what is the input. So in this particular example, it's fully assembled. It's available as a kit. And this assembled version has USB-C as an input with intelligent power controller. So in that case, basically, it communicates with your quick charge controller or whatever your power bank settings. And it sets the proper voltage that agreed between them using this intelligent controller. And then you have the DC-DC converter that provides the uh, well, um, plus minus 12 volt power rails. It also provides the 5 volt power rails, which are negotiated between these two straight to the output of Eurorack. And you may decide you may not have a 5 volt or you may have 5 volt. You also have option to fully isolate the grounds between your uh, input USB ground and the out ground that is generated from the DC DC module that also helps to reduce your noise level. So this case is USB C. But I can take exactly the same board without any changes. And instead of a USB-C module here, I can populate the uh, USB-B module. And in that case, I have the USB-B connector. Uh, obviously, in that case, it's only 5 volt. There is no any intelligent communication. And uh, so it goes straight to the DC-DC module. So now, guess what? I can use different DC-DC modules. And this example, is with a high quality Minval uh, module, which provides roughly about 125 uh, milliamps per rail. Uh, so it's a three watt module. There are some other alternatives. For instance, there is a no name module from AliExpress, which is a 10 watt model uh, that goes exactly into the same place. Uh, it has just a different pinout that board is already able to take. And you solder it down, you have now 10 watt. Uh, there is a pros and cons that you decide to go with some uh, proven uh, US-based solution and no-name solution. So, uh, but it's also quite quite good. It's a 10 watt means that it's roughly about uh, 400 milli oh, 400 milliamps per um, uh, per rail plus minus 12. So. That's it about this simple module. I really think that it can be really useful. You can also mount the power switch in many ways. So in that case, it's mounted parallel to the board with that option. You can also mount it vertically uh, and you can put it into any enclosure or you can put inside your ear rack enclosure. And in that case, no matter you're on the go, uh, uh, you have always reliable power that you can trust. Okay, with that, thanks. See you next time.